The world looked at this old grumpy man in which no one could understand. Why is he like that? said a child that pointed and spoke out loud. His mother said, I don't know why, son, as the world is bright when you're alive. If she only knew his story, it would make the world cry. This man had been beaten and abused from the time of his birth. He was so tiny laying on a mattress on the floor, crying from the hunger when he felt the first sting from his mother's voice. Shut up, I hate you. I should not have had you. Now I have no choice. Then came the sting from the slap, which sent him into shock until he could find his voice. So many hidden scars as he grew on his body, but the scars to his beautiful soul were the ones that were the worst. Now a teen wishing to end it all, he thought suicide was his only choice. He sat on a window ledge, waiting for that moment to push off and close the pain around him, which years had taken to make his choice. He stopped as he thought that he had heard a voice. You are a warrior, and this is not the way. There is a place for you to use the pain inside of you and step back inside as your journey shall give you another choice. 17 years old. The papers were pushed in front of his happy to get rid of him mother and the father who felt they had no choice. They signed and he thought freedom was now the place he could escape. And to the Marines he fled, running into the arms of a lost mind and memories that would give him no peace as the screams of the unknown would be in every footstep and dream for the rest of the days he took a breath. Restless without the home, destroyed living in chaos that had become his home. He met her and had a child with her. Then came his greatest downfall. She cheated on him and took the little love and compassion he had left at all. Was the child his, he asked, and his torn apart mind at all? The greatest day at birth was his son was wiped out from him, but the warrior made him stay the course and stand tall. He worked like a slave, sending every dime and being left with nothing at all to ensure that his son would have it all. But his son was him in another uniform as his mother had taught him to hate his father without reason, for he was not ever his father at all. After a lifetime of abuse, the father never thought that he would get old. Yet he was now gray and crippled and anger was his only home. For the world had torn him to pieces and left him no place to call home. Peace had eluded him and on the streets he wondered why they pointed as the child. Why is he angry and why does he not have a home? Lost in thought, he looked to the sky and asked, Father, why did you not take me in battle so that I would have honor and left me fall? As flag rose in remembrance of the fallen, all the dirty fathers living on the streets moved on by the police were not remembered that they too had lived through the war and fight unseen through it all. The father had lost his son through a lifetime of hell, and the world just points that does not know his story at all. Yes, the father lost his son, and his son just let him fall.